Grandma Bev here and Grandpa Bob. We're finally doing it. We're on our way to get our new babies. Yes. So we're doing this right along with us. We just left the park, so we're we're in the back roads here. And we're going first to PetSmart to get a bunch of paraphernalia for the babies. And they, they usually have a few kitties in there, but the uh, ultimate goal is to go down to the, uh, uh, what do you call it? ASPCA. So I'm hoping they'll have a whole bunch, and I'm hoping they'll let me take pictures. <laughs> so, uh, sit tight, hang in there. See if we're successful. We are parking at PetSmart, getting ready to go in. Yay! Now, we won't be finding kitties here, but we got all the equipment we need to, uh, to buy. So, fingers crossed, we find everything we need. Hey, this is hard, guys. We've got these two over here. <clears throat> you can't maybe really see with the glare right here if I go. No, quite, not quite, but they're sisters. It says they really need to go together. And they've got one in there who's eight years old. You can't really see, but it says he was hit by a car. <coughs> he lost his rear leg. He's eight years old, so that's a little too old. <coughs> this one down here has never come out. <laughs> or this one over here. But this gal here, as soon as we walked up, she got on and she was stretching on the window like she really took to Bob. So I'm going to go over and see if they can uh, let us get her out of the cage and hold her. Well, we're out of PetSmart now, and um, we found a kitty in there we like, but there was a hold on her, and the people were coming to do a meet and greet at uh, like 3 o'clock, and so we didn't want to hang around. With, that being was the first place we looked. So we're heading now to the SPCA. But we did spend money in there, like $250 worth of paraphernalia, you know. By the time you buy the scratching post and the two carriers and, you know, all that stuff. And uh, we got a lot of it on sale. <laughs> so, here we go. We're going to make the trek over there. Hope that we find it okay. And uh, we'll come back on as we get closer to the... <laughs> Facility. Here we go. We are hopefully on the right street. <laughs> I'm kind of moving you around. We should be up here on the right where we see flags. A lot of cars there. Gala PetSmart said that they were just overloaded with kitties and stuff, so we're going to have a hard decision to make up here. This is the Humane Society of Yuma. You can see it's out here in the middle of nowhere, like most things are out here. Goodness gracious, oh, there's a parking spot over there. Here we go, guys. Fingers crossed. I, you know, I may take a few pictures in there, but I, if we find some, we're not going to tell you which ones we got. You got to wait until we get home and I do a good video and introduce them to you. Well, we're sad. They had so few kitties in there. Gallup PetSmart said they were overflowing, but boy, they weren't. And the only cat that really reached out and grabbed us, and as far as it did reach out, <laughs> has already been adopted. So there were a couple of them there, but they were, you know, you want to make sure they're a good fit. And uh, it just, there just wasn't a good fit. So we've got this big truck back here full of all kinds of goodies for Kitty. <laughs> but we don't know where else to go to look for them. So uh, I'm going to stop this here and I guess I'll continue it the next time we come out looking for kitties. <laughs> Bye. 
Well, we've adopted! Yay! We're so excited. And on my birthday, too. <laughs> so, stay tuned. And I'm going to show you from the beginning of the week what we went through. <laughs> and then at the end, somewhere in there, you're going to see little videos of our new little girl. Stay tuned. Hi, Grandma Bev here from Life with Grandma Bev. And welcome to my channel on this beautiful Christmas Eve day. <laughs> Now, I know a lot of you are buried in snow and terrible weather. I mean, it is pretty to see your pictures, but you know. Oh, did you hear we just started off? Air conditioning. <laughs> so you can guess what our weather is. Let me turn it off. I can't believe it clicked off. I guess I start this video. <laughs> so, you're all welcome down here. We'd love to have company tomorrow. It's just going to be the three of us now because we finally adopted our baby. Now, let me lead up to, this was Friday. This is yes, you know, today's Saturday. This was yesterday. So I started this video on Tuesday. And then all of a sudden yesterday, there was a reason to continue it. Now, I can say it was my birthday. And we decided that we would go to our regular Friday movie and then go out to dinner. So uh, we picked a later movie to you know, have dinner around the right time, but we had to go to the post office in Yuma, downtown Yuma first, because there's a package that I have been hunting for for so long. And <laughs> someone finally told me, go down to that post office on 4th Avenue. So we left early enough to go there. I go inside, I'm in a long, well, there were, I was number eight in line, and then there's tons of people lined up behind me, but in the meantime, Bob and I are conversing back and forth, and I had turned my sound off on my phone, because I didn't want it to ring when I was in places, you know, and I looked, and there was a voicemail, and it was from the uh, SPCA at PetSmart, where we had gone first on Tuesday, and the gal said, uh, if you still want Mia, that's what they were calling her, she's still here and we'll hold her for two hours. <laughs> so, and because, you know, we had left a message. Well, when we, when we saw her on Tuesday, we asked if we could have a meet and greet with her. And the gal said, well, she's already uh, on hold. And they were supposed to come at 3 o'clock that day. She says, but I'll put you down as the backup. And if they don't show up or they change their mind, We'll call you. So we have fingers crossed, hoping we get a call back from when we were still in town on Tuesday, and we didn't. So we figured, okay, it's not often you find a, a kitty like that. <laughs> so, like I say, I'm in the line. I read this message. I send it to Bob. I tell him, hey, just had a call. So I gave him the phone number. He called him back and said, hey, you know, can you hold it longer than two hours? We're supposed to go to a movie and dinner for my wife's birthday. And she said, well, if it's, your, if it's being your wife's birthday, I'll hold it. We'll, we'll hold her for several more hours. So after I finally got out of the post office, we decided, let's forget the, mo the movie. Let me get a drink here. Ooh. Let's forget the movie and just take have a, a, a late lunch, early dinner. And then we'll go over to PetSmart, which is... Uh, across the street because we were going to Olive Garden. We had a gift certificate from like three years ago <laughs> that we got for Christmas that we never got to use because of the pandemic. <laughs> so we went and had our, our uh, lunch dinner <laughs> and the whole time I'm sitting there thinking, oh, hope we like her, you know, because we'd only seen her through the glass. So we left, we went in, went back to where the kitties were, and it was just her and this one other cat. Poor, I feel sorry for him. He's missing a leg. <laughs> but he was like nine, nine or ten years old, and we didn't want a senior one at this point. Because we've just lost, you know, our senior cats, and we don't want to lose another one so soon, hopefully. And then there was a little black cat in there, too. He might have had a whole lot. But there was a, a cat in another area that said that he was adopted. He was going home for the holiday. So he was sleeping. I said, hey, congratulations. He looks up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we go back. She gets her out of the cage. And this girl, she's just moving all around us. Uh, so, so active, you know. And uh, 
really a personality. She wasn't afraid or anything. So after a while, we decided, Bob and I looked at each other and we said, we'll take her. <laughs> you know, she'll fit in with our goofiness. So we adopted her. They had the adoptions down to only $10. That kind of makes that, uh, I told you on mm, Tuesday, we spent like 250 bucks on <laughs> on cat equipment because we didn't bring any down with us. So this girl's starting with all new equipment. So the $10 fee kind of helped, you know, make that what we spent a little better. <laughs> now, yes, we wanted to get two kitties, but, then, you know, we weren't going to just settle just to get what, you know, we knew that if there was one that really gravitated to us and liked us, then, uh, you know, we'd, we'd take it. So, we already filled up paperwork last Tuesday, so we got her on the car, and she didn't make a sound the whole way home. And, I mean, we're all the way in Yuma, which is 20 miles from here. Plus, we had to go to the grocery store <laughs> now. Bob went in the grocery store. I stayed out in the car with her. Well, I did, I did run in for a second to grab something that I needed that he would have been embarrassed to find. And then I, I quit putting his basket <laughs> and ran back out to the car. So we get her home here, and we got it all set up. You know, the litter. New, she got everything new. New litter box, new food bowls, everything. Got her all set. And she was on the bed in the carrier. So we opened up the carrier, and we wanted her to just kind of come out on her own. And, uh... She did kind of come out, look around. So we went back up in the living room part and uh, just want, you know, want her just to feel comfy. We don't want to push anything on her. And after a while, Bob comes back and he didn't see her. So he looked around on this other side of the bed here in the corner. <laughs> I've got like a little, uh, an extra throw blanket like like these blankets, these real soft ones. And if I cold at night, I can pull it on. So it's just kind of folded up, kind of <laughs> in a little alcove there. She was laying on that. So we thought, okay, well, she's found somewhere she feels comfy. So then after a while, though, she did come out. And she's just, you know, checking everything out. And we, like I say, we were not pushing her because uh, we don't believe in that. And, <laughs> and you remember the bed that I showed you, oh, a month or two ago that I got for our kitties we knew we were going to be getting? She found that, and she went and laid in that. And laid there for at least an hour or more while we were watching TV. <laughs> so, uh, oh, hi. Oh, here she is. Why'd she come up on the bed? She's really a talker, which we love. So she's, yeah, so she's nine months. Come on up here with Mama. Where are you going? Come on. Oh, there she goes. Come on, come on. Yeah, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come up here with Mama. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. Oh, she's standing up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> anyway, she ended that way. Um, she really seems to like us. We really like her. She's adjusted well to motorhome life <laughs> in this short time. Um, like I say, really a talker. She's a calico, which all calicos are females. And you know, all her colors on her back, you know, her head and her back. So I was wondering about her chest. <laughs> when is she all white? So I kind of lift her up a little, and she's all white, but there's a bunch of hair missing because she had been uh, spayed, neutered, whatever it is they do on the females. So, uh, you know, we knew she had already been fixed, but I didn't realize it was that recently. So she's got her little, little belly hair. <laughs> but she is a doll. Oh, and she seems to like me. <laughs> she kind of reminds me of Lucy, but with calico colors because of the long hair and stuff. So we actually are being able to make use of our Christmas tree we put up for kitties in case we got them and all the Christmas decorations. I and mean, she's been checking everything out. Hasn't tried to go outside the few times that we've tried to you know, go out the door. So, you know, we wanted one that would not go outside. So, uh... We've narrowed it down. At this point, we've got three names at the top of the list. Now, yes, her name is, is yeah. Uh oh, she's sneezing. She's sneezing. <laughs> she had an eye infection, which I knew that when I saw her Tuesday. I looked at her and I thought, oh, she looks like she's got an eye infection. So they sent us home with some drugs for her eyes, but 
um, you know, she could go into a little. When she got to the uh, the uh, SPCA, she was a little sick. She was put on medical attention and stuff. So, but yeah. What you doing, girlfriend? Yeah, I don't know if you could hear her answer me, but she's sitting in the little stairwell right now. <laughs> so she, uh, you know, she's. What was I saying? <laughs> As of now, she's perfect. Where are you? <laughs> she's eating. She's used a litter box. You know, she's just, uh, during the night, she must have slept up there. Bob thinks she might have slept back over here. Here. <laughs> we told her she could come up on the bed, but she didn't. So I'm going to let you go. Oh, I was talking about the names. Okay, the top three contenders, and, and we'd like you guys to tell us what names you like, too. Are okay, so her name's Mia right now. We got to give her our own personal name, you know, the name that fits her. So we've come up with all kinds of names. You wouldn't believe the names we've come up with. <laughs> so the top contenders are number one, Ruby. <laughs> but then we thought, well, we, then we'd always think of that song though, you know, Ruby. <laughs> um, and the other one is uh, Peggy Sue. Oh, she just answered me. You're back in here. Oh, she's on the bed. Look, look. Look who's here. Look who's here. Uh-oh. Are you going to find things on my little nightstand and knock off? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come over here. See, I told her she would be in training to be my new assistant, admin assistant. Oh, is this is Oh, we better get you set up. She's up here now. Oh, I didn't mean to move so fast. Okay, Lookie, can you say hi to everybody? <laughs> so anyway, and the last name we came up with, well, what's the last name? <laughs> Isn't this terrible? <laughs> what, honey? What? Well, I do mention it in her video that's going to follow this, so... When you see the three names, let me know what names you think might fit her. Yeah, come here, come here, come see Mama. Look at, look at, oh, look at this girlfriend. Oh, look at the girl. Is it? Yeah, well, you weren't supposed to get in the video yet. I was hoping they would wait to see you at the end of this video, but yeah, I know, I know. Can I kiss? Kiss? Are you mad? Are you mad? Okay, well, well let, I'll let you go. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Bob's so excited. He already posted a picture on Facebook and tagged me on it. So any of you who are, uh, you know, Facebook friends with me, you've already seen that we got the kitty and what she looks like. <laughs> and I don't know, oh, you weren't supposed to do that until after I did the video announcing it, but that's okay. He's excited too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll let you go. Hope you enjoy this video. Love you. Bye. What? What are you saying? Yeah? How do you like your new house? Really? You can come out in the living room with us? I was surprised to find you back in the kennel. I know. It's hard to come to a new house. But we're just waiting for you. Okay? Here she is. Yeah, what you saying? Uh, oop, 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 oop. <laughs> Keep backing up. What do you want to say for, to the people? Really? Let me get it down here. So they can see your face. Oh, what well, is a pretty face? Here we go. Oh. You can see she's taking to this video. She loves being. It's my gift I got for my birthday from my daughter. <laughs> got a lot of boxes out here right now. <laughs> they all just came yesterday. So I got to do some videoing today. Oh, you're up here. You're up here. You're my new assistant, huh? Think you can handle the jobs? Sniffing around the, pa the paperwork that it, we got on her. Isn't she gorgeous? We are so surprised 
that we were able to get a calico. And that she chose us. No, you can't eat the paper. Goof. Goof. Well, we're tossing around names. We've come up with a few that, because we like kind of a cute name for her, because she's so cute. Our top three right now are Daphne, <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, and Peggy Sue. <laughs> Is that right, Daddy? Yeah. Oh, oh, she just said Bella. She stayed out here with Bob all morning while I was in the bedroom watching the the game. You can see what's on. Seahawks. Now that's not as messy as it looks. It's just so much Christmas stuff. Decorations over there. But, but, oh, oh, oh. She's, oh, oh. The nail kind of snagged me, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty girl. Okay, folks. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning back as far as I can. That would do it for today, but you know you're going to have a lot more coming of this little girl in the future. Yeah. Yeah, but she's taken to us pretty well. Not a sound out of her all night. She just found her little spots in that bed down there that I got. She slept in it a good part of the evening last night while we were watching TV. So, uh, I'll let you guys go. But you can see we're very happy. This turned out to be a very happy Christmas weekend for us. So, uh, please comment below. Yeah, share, like, and subscribe. Oh, she's rubbing against me right now. Yeah. Oh, just a minute. I gotta put the camera down. I love you all. Bye.